Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rich really, really fast. Oh my god! But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. With the actor slam, oh, they're yes. dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, guys, so I'm going to make this fast in order for you to grind immediately because I know the update is coming up. So first requirement, you need to be in the third C. Next one is optional, but guys, I suggest this. You should really get this one. The awakened skill of the magma fruit, the magma shower, guys. That's the only skill that I need you to awaken. Okay, you will be needing this for the damage, okay? Next up, guys. Optional. The dragon talent fight style. You will be needing the exit skill, ember annihilation, and some infernal vortex. Okay, just a proof. Here it is. Only the Z skill awakened is used in this guide. So there you go, the C skill, the V skill unawakened. Okay, even my flight. Guys, but if you can awaken the flight, it can help more, okay? Next up, the race. You need Fishman V2 or V3 race in order for this guide to work. Last but not the least, you need the item. Guys, again, optional choppa. Because this item decreases or reduces cooldown. Goal here is to use your awakened magma Z skill as much as possible. Okay guys, so now, once you've gathered all the requirements, all you need to do is sail in the sea and wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. Yes guys, why third sea? Because this event only happens in the third sea. Yes, the rumbling waters. Why? This will summon three sea beasts. Just a reminder, this is not easy. I'm gonna show you some tips on how to defeat them. First guys, if you get hit by their blast, Guys, you will be pushed in the water. But game we're no magma fruit awakened users can walk on water. Yes, guys, but you cannot swim. That is why you need to unlock the V2 or V3 fishman. Guys, I suggest a V3 because sometimes three sea beasts can inflict really high damage, okay? Okay, so for our main damage inflictor, the awakened Z skill, magma shower, guys. The cooldown of this is really fast because of the chop pod. That's a good combination. There you go. And one more technique, guys. Defeat sea beasts one at a time. And you can use your target. Yes, the other sea beast as a shield. As you can see, instead of you getting hit by their skill, they are hitting their friend. More tips. Always use your observation Aki. Yes, make sure that that's in full. And also, observation V2. And last but not the least, your water body. Okay? Now for my title... How to get 1 million in 3 minutes, I'm gonna show it to you. So guys, here it is. Rumbling just started. Rumbling waters, I mean. So I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna defeat 3 sea beasts and get 1 million. Actually, not just 1 million. 1 million 200,000 bellies in just 2 minutes, guys. 2 minutes. So as you can see, I am using also my uh, Dragon Talon. Specifically the Axis skill. Some I I rarely go near my enemy, but if if ever I use my skills too fast, there you go. I'm using my infer infernal vortex and my magma Axis skill, the magma column. But if you're gonna ask me, just use your magma shower, magma meteors, and magma wolf, and also the Axis skill of the dragon talent. Okay. So again, target only one CB at a time. Don't try to damage or defeat them all. There you go. With just one CBs, I gained 386,230 bellies. That's a lot, right? Almost 400,000. So moving on to the next sea beast. There you go. Oops, oops. <laughs> okay, guys. So as you can see, time check. 1 minute, 7 seconds. And please cycle your T skill, your water body. And your observation hockey properly but gamer gnome it's really hard even though i use this strategy the magma awakened and also the fishman guys at first i also have a hard time in doing this but just practice okay practice won't make it perfect but will make you better well there you go the next cbc is down for 374,124 bellies there you go gamer gnome i have another technique how about the chests guys uh i think our technique, because this technique includes the two times money, that won't work. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Gamer Nom, I'm trying to do uh, quests. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I suggest this one because I also get shards. 
And also, if you're not max level, you will get an extra level up, right? So you will be targeting the shards as well as your, uh, what do you call this? Your bellies and level, okay? So there you go, 2 minutes, 12 seconds. Again, guys, this won't work without the 2 times money. Yes, we already have that. Gamer Nom, what if I don't have the 2 times money? It's okay, guys. For those who don't have Robux, guys, I've recorded this before I bought the 2 times money. So we're gonna defeat this 3 sea beasts in the Rumbling Waters event and show you how much money will I get. Guys, as you can see, I'm still lagging here. That's why I'm having a hard time. So guys, again, check this out. Just a reminder, if you don't have the Fishman V2 or V3, I don't know if you can defeat it. It's really hard. Also, you need Magma Z skill for the damage. Because if you're using other fruits, you'll have a hard time defeating it, right? How can you damage the enemy really fast, okay? So th again, the goal here of the Magma Shower plus the Choppa is to damage your enemy really fast. Oh, sorry guys, I'm still using Pale Scarf here, which means the cooldown of my Magma Shower is really low, and I really don't like that, okay? There you go. As you can see, it's still kind of laggy. See that, guys? It's lagging. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of annoying. Wait, gamer, no. So you're telling me this is the best build for Sea Beast Hunts? Guys, I don't know. For me, it's the best, but how about you? Do you have a technique that is faster in defeating Sea Beast solo? Comment it in the comment section. One of my friends, Tom, uses Phoenix Fruit. Yes, Phoenix Fruit. Uh, I saw someone using Awakened Buddha with the Buddha skills. Because again, uh, you cannot use some of the fight styles to damage this Sea Beast. That's why they relied on the skills of the Awakened Buddha Fruit. And again, Buddha Fruits. Awakened Z skill, transform, don't get damage in the water, right? Okay, there you go. So maybe they can use other, uh, what do you call this? Races. Okay, so we're about to defeat this one. Okay, there you go. I want to see it, guys, now. Once we defeat one, we're going to fast forward this. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's really lagging. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Oh. There you go, guys. We got 200,000 bellies. Okay? So, if we repeat two more CBs, yes, it's equivalent to 600,000. Guys, you won't be finishing that rumbling waters. I've already taught you the, the tips and this technique. So, I hope that you grind Bell is really, really fast for this update. Okay, so again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.